Welcome viewers. Today we are going to talk about understanding elderly care and major roles of an elderly care giver. This is the non-clinical category. Please remember that we are discussing module 1, unit 1. In this program, we are going to basically talk about the theory learning outcomes as well as the practical learning outcomes. The theory, theory learning outcomes will be given to you through this video, while the practical learning exercises will be given to you separately on which you will have to work and submit your work to the concerned agency. In this program, we will basically be talking about the objectives of the program, then the required attributes for an elderly caregiver, then we will talk about roles and responsibilities of an elderly caretaker. Then finally we will discuss the ways to build trust with the elderly people for assisting with their day to day activities. Friends, let us first take an overview of the elderly care scenario prevailing in our country. So let us understand that some facts and figures related to elderly care in India are as follows. The first and foremost is the elderly population which is ever growing. If we talk about the 2011 census then there was 8.6% population which was above 60 years that amounted to 104 million. In the past 12 years definitely the population of elderly people has significantly grown. As far as the dependency ratio is concerned, the number of dependents that is children as well as elderly compared to the working age population has also been increasing due to a larger elderly population relative to the working age population. This is the demographic shift which we are seeing in our Indian society. Family support we know that these elderly receive 71% of them residing in rural areas receive support from their families while 54% of the elderly people in urban areas are supported by their family. Elderly living arrangement mainly in our country the elderly individuals live with their families. A growing trend of elderly living alone or living in old age homes due to changing family structure and migration for work is also visible trend. The nucleus families and the families which are busy in their jobs sometimes the elderly people are not taken proper care of. When it comes to healthcare access, when it comes to healthcare access we know that it is a major concern in rural areas because significant proportion of the elderly population is not having access to specialized health care needs which are suited to their requirements. We know that the government support is there in terms of some schemes pertaining to health care, social security and welfare of elderly people. But we also know that these schemes lack in their effectiveness. Caregiver support. The informal caregiving by family members, especially women, constitute a significant portion of elderly care. This is our society structure that the youngsters in the family, the young females, they support the elderly people. However, the strain on caregivers due to changing demographics and lifestyle patterns is also a growing concern. When it comes to economic challenges, we know that all the elderly people can't afford to have the elderly care support because of the financial insecurity, because of lack of pension, social security and many other economic challenges. Now we talk about the objectives of the program on the elderly caretaker non-clinical. There are some objectives of the program such as cultural 
sensitivity and understanding we know that the elderly care people like you should understand and respect the diverse cultural background traditions and beliefs of the elderly people in india the healthcare knowledge and skills equipping caregivers with knowledge about common health issues faced by the elderly basic medical care medication management and emergency response procedures is also essential so these are all covered in this elderly care program which you will be undergoing while you complete this mooc program emotional and psychological support in fact we have also taken care of your own emotional support also because the caregivers also need to be strong both physically as well as mentally they should have active listening habits they should be able to understand the mental health issues and also they should develop empathy towards the elderly people so that they can understand their problems of depression anxiety etc nutrition and diet management age appropriate nutrition meal planning special dietary requirements for the elderly all this information will be provided to you mobility assistance and physical care proper lifting transferring and supporting techniques to prevent injuries to both yourself and also the elderly people whom you are taking care of is important communication skills that also will be covered in this program focus on those techniques that consider potential hearing or vision impairments and methods to facilitate clear and respectful communication with elderly people there are many legal and ethical considerations such as right to privacy of the elderly people confidentiality other legal responsibilities and care giving also to ensure compliances with regulations and also promote ethical conduct that is there self care for caregivers stress management self care techniques meditation etc the importance of their own physical and mental well being to prevent burnout and maintain quality care provisions that is also covered in this program technology integration now technology is also an important role to play in elderly care giver so up, updating them with the technological needs will also be there now we move to the third aspect that is required attributes for an elderly caretaker non clinical there are many such attributes which are required there are certain attributes which are required in an elderly caretaker first and foremost is empathy and compassion caregivers should demonstrate genuine concern and empathy towards their elderly care people cultural sensitivity now india is having diverse culture languages traditions so respecting and understanding the cultural backgrounds beliefs and practices of the elderly people they care for that is also very important patience and understanding lot of patience is required in you if you want to be a elderly care giver because elderly people may take more time to communicate more time to understand then will also take more time to movement and performing tasks so all the time you should be patient understanding and willing to adapt to the pace of the elderly people next is excellent communication skills as an elderly care giver you should be able to communicate well understanding the potential challenges such as hearing impairment or speech difficulties there are more attributes flexibility and adaptability as a elderly care giver you should be highly flexible because elderly care can be unpredictable at many times basically the situations may always change health conditions may change the preferences of the elderly person may change so as an elderly care giver you should always be flexible and adaptable physical and emotional strength there are many tasks like assisting with mobility 
or personal care as well as emotional resilience to handle situations and maintaining a positive attitude always is also required to be present in you. Then respect for privacy and dignity. We know that caregivers should be mindful of personal boundaries and cultural sensitivities. You should be a problem solver. So you should have problem solving skills. The caregivers should possess the ability to identify problems, think critically and find practical solutions to address the needs and challenges. Reliability and trustworthiness. Very important. As elderly caregiver, you should be able to win the confidence and the trust of the you should be able to maintain the trust and confidence of the elderly care people you are caring for. Now we come to roles and responsibility of elderly caretaker. Basically, first and foremost role is personal care assistance. Activities of daily living such as bathing, dressing, grooming, toileting, feeding if necessary, assisting with mobility and ensuring safety of the elderly people you whom you are taking care of is very important. So you are personal care assistant to the persons you are taking care of. Medication management because many of them may be having problems of uh, health and so you should be well versed in uh, administering medications on time as prescribed, maintaining proper records and observing any adverse reactions or changes in health. So that is very important. In case of any problem, you should be able to approach the attending doctor. Health monitoring. Regularly checking vital signs, observing change in health conditions and reporting any concerns to family members or health care providers. It means that you should be proficient in taking blood pressure, sugar test and so on. Then emotional support. You are not there only for uh, uh, mechanically supporting them, but you should be providing emotional support also. Becoming a companion, lending a listening ear, engaging in conversations, offering emotional support to combat loneliness, depression, anxiety that elderly people generally experience. You should be more encouraging, you should be a pleasing personality, you should encourage them to uh, share their anecdotes and their past memories with you. Nutritional support, preparing meals according to elderly people's requirement, their dietary restrictions, ensuring proper nutrition and encouraging healthy eating habits in the elderly people you are taking care of. That is also very important. Household support, assisting with the light household chores such as laundry, cleaning and organizing living spaces to maintain a clean, safe, hygienic environment for the elderly people. Then comes mobility assistance because you need to be a physical support for the elderly care people so assist them with walking using mobility aids tra or transferring between different positions to prevent falls or accidents because remember the safety of the elderly care people is completely in your hands. Now companionship and social activities as said earlier we can engage the elderly people in different activities that they enjoy. Identify their hobbies. If they like to uh, listen to stories, then you can read from the books and uh, show them. If they like music, then you can play some music of their choice on your devices and all. So games, hobbies, even outings can be planned depending upon the condition of the elderly people to promote mental stimulation and social interaction. Communication lies in acting as a bridge between the elderly and their families and healthcare providers by relaying information and ensuring effective communication. Many a times these elderly people may not be that comfortable with new generation devices such as mobile, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. So you can be a good bridge between those people and their family members. Advocacy. Advocating for the rights and needs of the elderly, ensuring that they receive proper care, 
respect and dignity. We also want you to be adept in crisis management, being prepared to handle emergency situations calmly and effectively, including knowing emergency protocols and providing immediate assistance until professional help arrives. So you should be trained in first aid. Our program will give you some tips on that as well, particularly the practical modules of the program. Then the respite care for family, providing temporary relief for family caregivers by taking over responsibilities, allowing them to rest and attend to their personal needs is also your role and responsibility. So you see that there are very important roles and responsibilities that are there for elderly caretaker. You should not be too much overwhelmed by all these things because you are properly trained to take the elderly care people's uh, attention. Now you should be also understanding some of the aspects of elderly caretaker so that you can take better care of the persons whom you are taking care of. Friends, in this particular program, we have talked about the various aspects such as what is covered in the theoretical modules and what is covered in the practical learning modules. Then we also discussed that what is the elderly care scenario in our country. Then we talked about uh, some facts and figures related to elderly care. Then we discussed some of the objectives of the programs on the elderly caretaker. We discussed the attributes of elderly caretaker and finally, most importantly, we discussed what are the roles and responsibilities that the elderly care people are expected to shoulder. So friends, I am sure that this particular program has given you a good overview on all these aspects.